Okay, I, I've only owned one home and it was a used home, so I, I don't know a lot about extended warranties, but here, here's like in my mind <laughs> kind of how they work. I always go back to electronics, you know, when you're yes. buying a DVD player or you're buying a refrigerator, and they want to say, when you buy, you want to buy the extended warranty? How much is it? Well, I'll pay $400 for the refrigerator, and, and, and the extended warranty is like $75. i am like, really? That's almost a quarter <laughs> of what I just paid for this thing. Is it not going to last long in a couple of years? So I just like, you know, I'll just replace it myself. So I think there's a there's a stigma behind a lot of those warranties, and I know home warranties are different, but explain to us the difference. Well, the first difference is is that in Capital Homes' uh, situation and our clients' situation, they are purchasing the warranty. This is uh, this is a this is a fee. This extended warranty, this extended offering that they're they're giving to their homeowners, is pocketed by them. They they do it as as a as a service to their homeowners because they care about the the home's long term viability and they care about uh, the homes that they build. So, you know, when like you go buy a car and you go into the next room and start buying an extended yeah. warranty on the <laughs> you car, you're not doing that here. You're buying a well-built quality house that is insured against potential structural defects for 10 years. And it is not something that you are paying extra for. The point on that uh, Jimmy, is really fantastic, is that it's something that I'm doing because as much as I'd like to think that the end game is for me to go off to Hawaii, <laughs> it, it may not be. It may be, uh, you know, a, a bus that runs me over or something like that. And I want to know that for the next 10 years, if there's a structural problem for a house, the people who I built a home for, and I really do care about my people that I built a home for, that I care, the people I care about that built a home, don't undergo a economic disaster, a financial crushing that will put them out. And Rod, you might be able to speak better to this than I can, but if somebody has a structural failure yes. on their $300,000 house, Correct. a magnitude that I would expect the structural repair to be is average is forty five to $65,000. Wow. And that will financially crush yes. a middle class American yeah. family. That would crush most people. Yeah, because they come to us trying to finance that. And there's going to be all sorts of problems with the loan to value potentially and everything else. It equ it equates itself to fire insurance, where I think you know, unless you're in risky areas, Texas being a much more risky area because of certain soils that they have. Um, but I mean, so you know, the forty five to sixty five thousand dollars is is an awful number. Mm -hmm. and I mean, we've paid whole house losses before. Mm -hmm.